Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Talitha Two Moons. Today I'm going to be teaching or trying to teach how to draw Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, I will try to do a how-to. I'm not too good, but here it goes. Um, so you can really start anywhere. Um, I started with the eyes. Uh, I know there's a lot of m more automated processes, but I start with started with the eyes on this and started shading from there uh once i had that down i started going down to the nose i didn't quite do the outlining until i figured out what the proportions were for his nose to his eyes he has very distinct features so i think it's just when you're drawing people to keep in mind the unique uh parts of their faces um, so yeah, right now I am just shading his cheekbones in to get a better idea of where the outline of his face will be. I am using charcoal and I'm not doing any hyper realism. So I will be outlining the lines around the things that don't typically have lines in real life. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm I'm just doing a, a very simple portrait of Benedict Cumberbatch, who is one of my favorite actors in the whole universe. Um, so, yeah, so now that I have his proportions down and his cheekbones, I, I have a better understanding of where the outside of his face is going to be. Uh, I've also started different uh, drawings with their face and then went to the eyes and the pe features, but... Um, in this case, I just thought it would be better maybe to start with the eyes. Um, also, I am drawing on my iPad. I'm using Procreate, and it is a charcoal brush. And I do use the charcoal brush for um, blending. So, um, yeah. So, right now, I'm just shading under his nose and his mouth. Uh, lips are a little bit difficult, but um, I think if you spend enough time on any feature, per se, you you'll you'll get it right eventually um especially with uh, if you practice frequently um i was also scared of lines around the mouth uh, not, and making people look maybe too old or not drawing them and you making it look too you know i don't know cartoony but uh in this case it is realism so i did want to draw the lines around the eyes and the nose and the mouth and all of that i yeah so um don't be afraid of them you just have to do it a little lighter sometimes at this point i was adding some highlight on his nose to do more of a 3d um effect he um again his features are very distinct and i feel like i do a lot of default art when it comes to certain types of um realism i tend to draw very I don't know, Instagram model -y, but I love Benedict Cumberbatch so much, <laughs> I just, like, could not not draw him. So, just adding some highlights to the cheekbones to bring him forward. Uh, I had to experiment a lot with highlights just because I didn't really understand the higher level concept of what they did, but, um... I do now, so yeah, it makes things look more round or forward or more 3D, so that's cool. Right now, I'm just filling in some eyebrow. Uh, he does have eyebrows. Some some people don't. I don't have eyebrows. I have to draw mine in, but um, yeah. So, I, I mean, eyebrows, my friend used to say was the anchor of the face so and it really does make a difference i feel like sometimes that's why they're so signatures because they're just so sometimes they're just so unique and they look so different or they complement people's features in different ways so but now that i'm more comfortable with or when you are more comfortable with the edges of the face you can start really going in there and shading it right. Um, doing the forehead. Um, and then we have started doing his hair. Uh, hair has always been a 
a bit of a a gray area in terms of my like how good I can get it to look and I do tend to get sloppy with it but if you are doing it be patient (laughs) hair there's a lot of hair and there's a lot of different ways to draw hair so um the way I do it is I usually will I like to block in shadows if I know there's going to be a, like higher gloss or no gloss or whatever. Um, so I'm, and with charcoal, I'm really good at like grayscales and all that. So um, at least I'm, I'm more seasoned with it. So I feel more comfortable. So I just kind of do the lines and then make the shapes of the hair. And fill those in as I go. So... That's what I would recommend doing if you're lazy like I am and I I I'm I'm aspiring to do the model hair, <laughs> the Instagram drawing model hair making it look super 3D and super real as a realistic, but right now I'm just going to have to deal with the what it is. So, it looks like hair. I think it looks like hair. It looks like hair to me, so satisfied. Um, Now we are moving on to just getting that extra, used a little bit of a liquify tool, but that extra um, uniqueness, the smile lines, the creases by the eyes, the little crow's feet. I think those are so signature for some people because you can tell if they've smiled a lot or um you know I mean smiles are always unique depending on the person so yeah so just getting the some realism touches and blending um I used to be really scared with blending but also key thing or just some advice just keep practicing what it all comes down to is practice and I have had to do a lot of it because I haven't had um a lot of instruction other than like trial and error so I'd mess up do it again mess up do it again mess up do it again and I mean that's sometimes what you have to do If you do have a shortcut, I recommend using that. But also, if you don't, just keep doing the same. You know, just find the way that works best for you. So, um, he is coming along. I'm just just doing the little... Adding a few more extra little little tidbits. He's looking more like like Benny. Like Ben Dick Cumberbatch. Time to add his suit. Love him in Sherlock Holmes. Absolutely love him in that. Um, I don't know. Just do. So. Filling that in. Uh, not. I mean. It's all grayscale. So. Just gotta. Draw the shapes. Blend. And. Uh, draw in the tie. Thought a nice little, thought his nice little striped tie was cute. So keep that. Make it look as dapper as possible. It's looking, he's looking real smooth with his uh, tie. So his suit looks nice. And uh, blending that out. Reshading it, blending it out. Um... And then just adding a few last touches on blending around his face and some, what do they call it, vignette or whatever, and readjusting and then signing. Um, Yeah, well that's how you draw Bendit Cumberbatch. Start with the eyes and end with the signature. If you liked what you saw, subscribe and uh, hope to see you again. Bye!